Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are going to be playing with some shapes. Our learning goal for today is to identify the attributes of our pattern blocks. So if you have some pattern blocks, I would like for you to get them out. I'm going to give you a minute. Pause the video. Alright, let's take a look at all of our shapes. I am going to put one of each shape here on the shelf. I'd like for you to find one of each shape as well. There is our final one. How many different shapes are there in our pattern box? One, two, three, four, five, six. What do you notice about all of these pattern blocks? Did you notice that there are some different colors? Let's take a look at the different shapes. The red pattern block is a trapezoid. The yellow pattern block is a hexagon. It has how many sides? You're right, it has six sides. What about? this little green one. Yes, it is a triangle. It has three sides and three angles. This shape and this shape are very, very similar. Both the blue and the tan pieces are called rhombuses. A rhombus is a parallelogram with equal sides. They're both parallelograms. Hmm, these two sides are parallel and these two sides are parallel or they are the same distance from each other all the way along. We only have one more shape left. It's our little orange one. Do you know what it's called? Yes, it is a square. I would like for you to practice doing a design today. Hmm. I would like to do a design with my pattern blocks. Your design could make a picture or it could just be a fun pattern. I am making just a fun pattern today. What are you going to make with your pattern blocks? I love how the pattern blocks fit together so nicely. The side of the square is the same length as one of the sides of the hexagons. The sides of the triangles are the same length as the sides of the squares and the sides of our hexagons. That means that you can make a lot of fun patterns. You'll even notice that the top of the trapezoid is the same length as the triangle. So you could use a triangle and a trapezoid to make a bigger triangle. Hmm. I would like for you to have a lot of fun today experimenting with your pattern pieces. What? fun designs can you make? And what are the different ways that your pieces can fit together? Shapes can make wonderful designs. I know that you are going to be able to make some wonderful designs today. I hope that you have a great day class. Bye-bye!